Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. It was not until the peak of the Cold War in the mid-1950s that the Boeing B-52 came into service as the most oversized and longest serving strategic bomber in the United States military. At 159 feet long and with a wingspan of more than 180 feet, few planes are more imposing than a fully armed Stratofortress. Even after its lifespan of more than 65 years, the B-52 boasts a range of nearly 9,000 miles and can carry up to 70,000 pounds of weapons to this day. To keep it in the best shape possible for various combat scenarios, the B-52 has undergone extensive upgrades over the years. Though all military aircraft go through pre-flight checks, the age of the standard B-52 adds an extra layer of importance to pre-flight procedures. Both ground and air crews are tasked with checking the bomber's exterior, including the tires, brakes, and engine pods. The B-52 bomber is powered by eight Pratt & Whitney TF-33 engines, each producing about 17,000 pounds of thrust. These turbofan engines have both a fan and a turbine that drive the engine's compressor. This particular model of engine is known for several things. One is that they are incredibly durable and reliable, which is helpful when powering a long-range bomber like the B-52. What is peculiar about the B-52's powerful engines is that they can take a long time to warm up for a flight. However, since the Stratofortress is a strategic bomber, there may be situations where the plane needs to get in the air in a much shorter amount of time. For this reason, a team of B-52 engineers invented the cart start. In this case, several cartridges similar to large shotgun shells are inserted into the engines. Upon detonation, the cartridges create vast plumes of smoke that shoot out the back of each engine. These supply a considerable volume of pressurized gas in a short amount of time, turning the compressor to get it started almost immediately. Though there is a risk of fire if performed incorrectly, a cart start can get a B-52 in the air in under 10 minutes. A 
Another interesting feature of the B-52 is that very little rotation occurs when the plane takes off. Rotation is the term used to describe the process of lifting the nose of the aircraft off the ground as it gains speed. However, because of the engineering of the wings, the aircraft's front and rear wheels leave the ground almost simultaneously. In fact, the tail cannot exert enough downforce to raise the nose, especially when the bomber is fully loaded. This lack of pitch is similarly repeated when the B-52 lands, with both sets of tires touching the ground almost simultaneously. The fuselage of the B-52 is very narrow, so both the front and rear sets of landing gear sit just a few feet apart from one another. This can make landing the Stratofortress rather challenging, especially in a crosswind. Depending on the weight of the aircraft at the time it touches down, it may need a minimum of 7,000 feet to come to a safe landing. Drag chutes will often be deployed to help bring the plane to a safe stop. The B-52 has gained a reputation for being somewhat maintenance intensive. This is especially true of the TF-33s, which require regular maintenance to ensure their optimal performance and safety. Exactly how often each engine is serviced depends on a variety of factors, such as the engine's age, the number of flight hours, the operating conditions, and the maintenance history. In some cases, entire engines will be switched out and replaced with reconditioned models. The removed engine will then be sent to a particular Air Force refurbishing center to be overhauled. There are also maintenance crews that specialize in the structural components of an aircraft. These men and women are responsible for removing corrosion, hand forming parts, and doing cold bonds to repair panels and doors. In colder operating conditions, such as North Dakota's Minot Air Force Base, maintenance of the B-52s is even more critical. Like commercial airliners, military planes will frequently be sprayed with de-icer to help keep their engines and fuselage safe from the elements.
Ground crews will also pay special attention to the engines in cold weather, ensuring adequate time to warm up before the flight. However, regular maintenance and repairs are almost always completed inside the hangar. This ensures the team has all the tools and equipment ready to examine the plane's systems and perform any necessary repairs. I need tools for this. This is also where special weapons or external pods will be mounted on the B-52's external hardpoints. Military aircraft are washed regularly, even though their intended purpose does not necessarily demand that they look clean. However, regular washings help protect the plane's paint and surface coatings while removing dirt, grime, and other contaminants, which can corrode the plane's metal surfaces over time. This washing process also helps maintenance teams identify any damage or defects in the aircraft's exterior that may need to be addressed. In 2021, the United States Air Force announced plans to re-engine its fleet of B-52 Stratofortress bombers with new Rolls-Royce engines. The re-engining program is intended to improve further the B-52's range, reliability, and fuel efficiency, and extend the aircraft's service life into the 2050s. Rolls-Royce is currently testing the engines, designated the F-130, with the actual switchover set to take place in the late 2020s and early 2030. Though it doesn't drop bombs, the U.S. military has an even larger plane in the form of the C-5 Galaxy. This massive cargo plane is 247 feet long and boasts a wingspan of more than 222 feet. It also has a maximum takeoff weight of nearly 850,000 pounds, making it one of the world's largest and most capable cargo aircraft. The cargo compartment of the C-5 Galaxy measures 121 feet long, 13 feet high, and more than 19 feet wide. Both the front nose section of the aircraft and the rear ramp can be opened to allow for more effortless loading and unloading. In most demanding situations, a particular vehicle would be used to reverse the C-5 into a parking space or airplane hangar. The engines are over 15 feet long and boast a fan diameter of 7 feet. Given the amount of pressure these engines are under, 
they require regular maintenance to ensure safe operation. Even considering the engine's size, precisely coordinated movements are required to avoid damaging it during replacement. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.